Praise be Jesus Christ, still at the camp here. With this whole COVID-19 thing, we have to be careful not to be overreacting because I think some people are seeing the consequences of overreacting. Now, I have a lot of friends who have had COVID-19. I have a lot of friends who still have COVID-19 now. And even a friend of mine last week died of COVID-19. She was a good holy woman of God. I'm pretty sure she's in a better place right now. Um, she was you know, quite elderly and, and had other health issues. Um, but it's a reminder that yes, this COVID-19, it's real, it's, it's serious. Um, however, if we overreact, there'll be more damage than good. And I, I just find myself very concerned about how a lot of the media is covering um, COVID-19, what they choose to report and what they choose not to report. And also some of the health authorities in different countries throughout the world, the way they're handling things, I just don't think it's good. And I say this as a, a pastor of souls, it does concern me. You know, when I see uh, my people not doing well in, 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 in many different ways, um, it's important that we handle and, and, and react to COVID-19 in a proper way. So there's good news. And I, I don't know why the media doesn't report the good news more clearly and more often. For example, Dr. John Campbell, he's the well-known, uh, wonderful uh, doctor on, on YouTube, uh, has a huge following. I've been following him since the beginning of the pandemic. He's, he's out of the UK. He's a health analyst and educator. Um, in an interview with Deutsch World yesterday, the uh, interviewer said, oh, did you hear about the person in Delaware who had COVID-19 in March and he got over it and then he was reinfected? And everyone is like, oh, you know, check out Dr. Campbell's answer. In terms of reinfection, yes, there are definite documented cases of reinfection, but they are very, very few. Only about half a dozen around the world. We're talking about six people around the world who've been reinfected that have been definitely that have definitely been documented. So people can become reinfected, but this is going to be the vast minority of cases. And the people that are reinfected don't get sick. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to say in the news, oh, people are getting reinfected. Yeah six people since this has begun in the whole world and they're not getting sick. Why don't you mention that? He says they are reinfected, they don't get sick, they just test positive. When people have been infected with this disease, they do have a fairly high degree of immunity. So we have to highlight these things. Also, people are talking about, oh, there's a, a surge in cases, you know, in Europe, in, in Italy, France, Spain, UK. Take a look at the mortality rates in this second wave. I'm gonna show you, this is Italy. This is, you see the first wave, you see the second wave. Now look at the, de the deaths, quite a few deaths in that first wave. Look at the second wave, praise God. Now let's look at France, France, first wave. Now they're in their second wave. You see the second wave there? Okay, let's look at the, the deaths. First waves, a lot of deaths. Second wave, praise the Lord, hardly any deaths. Same thing, let's go to Spain now. Spain, first wave. You see the first wave that began in March? There it is. You see that second wave? Really high. Now, let's look at the deaths. First wave, just like the other two countries. Lots of deaths. Second wave, hardly any. Okay, let's go to the UK. UK, first wave, check it out. Lots of uh, cases. Second wave, here it is. Lots more cases. Let's look at the deaths. I don't know why the media doesn't highlight that. There's, you see how few deaths there are? Praise God. Now, will more people die? I'm sure. And that's sad. That's tragic. But let's not give in to, to fear in, in an exaggerated way. In Luke chapter 21, our Lord Jesus, when he's speaking about the signs of the end, he says, people will die of fright, but you... When these signs begin to happen, stand upright and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Brothers and sisters, don't be afraid. The Lord is in charge and if he calls us home to heaven, praise God. As Christians, 
we know that we were made for heaven and we're not supposed to be afraid. Viva Cristo Rey!